Yeah, hi, I'm Holger from Germany and I came to second time to um, Parade de Sakura and because of uh, the hand luggage I only brought some little um, models with me. This time I brought some, actually these are Lego sets which uh, I've rebuilt in a different color scheme. So I was talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about the gray era which is uh, recognized by the gray track you can see here and because that followed up the, the blue track um, which was uh, available in the 70s and the grey track started in the 80s. So yeah, we were talking about grey era and but we found out that uh, the grey era isn't that grey. So <laughs> if you have a look at, at, at the brochure from that time, so this one is from 83, you see it's totally colourful and rather grey and so for example all these bright typical Lego colors which were used these days so they haven't had that much gray around mm -hmm. and yeah so for example this engine here diesel engine comes in red and some gray elements down here which was quite rare these days and so yeah then the idea was what would that all that stuff would look like if it would be really gray so and then I sat down and uh, created um, the train station first which is, uh, this will be the original colors. You can see it's bright red and some yellow spots and yeah, and some light gray. So, but I turned this into a very depressive, dark grayish thing and the only leftover in color was the uh, timetable. So that makes sure that this is not a Photoshop um, picture, so it's a it's a real color picture, but you only see um, gray and gray and gray. That's it. <laughs> Even yeah. the minifigs. Even the minifigs, yeah, which is which is actually quite hard to um, to find a normal minifigure face without any scary thing on a on a gray head. So that wasn't that easy to find. But the girl is only visible from the back, so she's holding a gray letter, and uh, everything is gray there. <laughs> so don't jump in front of the train if you look at this too long. Okay, and then I came up with uh, another famous uh, train from the 80s, the 7745, um, which originally came in in red color, and I remembered the Metroliner from the 90s, and I converted the, the color scheme from Metroliner to, um, into this uh, original classic train set. Yeah, and then uh, the story went on, and I thought, okay, what, what could be next, and, and yeah, the little truck came up in in gray as well. That that one used to be yellow. On if you want to see it on, so this is the, the Lego truck on here, and I converted it into gray. And which is, it it looks easy, but in fact it is not that easy. So there are some elements which are really hard to get in in gray. So for example, the the frame here for the the, sh the shutters are okay, but the frame is quite rare. So this is maybe the most expensive part in this one. And yes, I, I don't have that uh, specific mudguard element which is in down here. Is that one? No, I had to replace this by other elements. But uh, yeah, the, sh the shape is actually the, the one which is in the building instruction. Yeah, and again, the, um, the fright port um, with some color spots like the, the red, uh, what do you call them? From the the wagon and the yellow shovel, which is not available in, in grey at all, so I stick with them and yeah, hopefully we'll have a great photo session in, uh, in the future and put some grayscale <laughs> Lego buildings um, on photograph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it for from my side. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's really cool that you kind of took those existing sets and kind of put a different spin on them. Is this something you've done some in the, in the past or is this the first time you've kind of tried to change up an existing set? That, that was actually the first time I've, okay. I've done this. Uh, that was kind of just a silly idea in the evening talking to my friend and said, it's grayscale, let's, let's make it gray. I know that doesn't work. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, and then it <laughs> turned out like this. So, But not all of the... Um, sets will work in gray so for example the steam steam engines of course are it's pretty hard to, to convert them because they are black and red and you don't get all the the red uh, wheels in gray so the steam engine would end up in black in black so mm -hmm. which which wouldn't work well so yeah we have to i had to select and 
Yeah, it's not too bad, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it turned out really great. So I appreciate you talking with me about it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks a lot. <laughs>